Hi everyone, Joe for jazpyscasebreaks.com. Happy Thanksgiving Day Eve, happy hump day, happy Wednesday, happy new release day. We got 2022 Bowman Chrome Baseball Hobby Edition dropping today. HTA drops on Friday. This is Pick Your Team 5. All card chip, a lot of great stuff here. Bowman, so it's a lot of prospect hunting. I appreciate everybody getting in on it here on the Wednesday. Thanks everyone. So before we pulled the teams for the filler, which I did in a different video, Bill got the Padres. Last spot mojo. All right, here's the case right here. your boxes right here. All right, and away we go. Two chrome autographs per master box. Be one per mini. We're looking at uh, looking at Khalil Watson and Bobby Witt Jr. on the box. I think some of the guys we're looking for, in addition to the rookies like Julio, Wander, Bobby Witt Jr. O'Neill Cruz, Spencer Torkelson. We're also looking for prospects like uh, Jeremy Pena, Christian Vaquero, Roderick Arias, Jackson Curio, Yasser Mercedes, Yanquil Fernandez, Jackson Merrill, among others. But listen, all card ship, and whatever I miss, our shipping team will be able to catch those names right there. Prospect hunting, so a lot of times you're there's a great chance that some of these no namers could be could be namers in a short amount of time. Autograph hunting, parallel hunting, all that good, good stuff. All right, and good luck, everybody. So we can discover a lot of uh, new faces here. I like this, it came to the league. I don't know how common or uncommon those are, but that looks pretty cool. This one's on a slightly thicker cardstock. And here's our first autograph, Thomas Farr, 179 out of 499. The stamp on the number, the number stamp looks a lot more bold. I kind of like that. And we got a Wilfred Veris. Purple chrome for the White Sox. That'll be for Fred. 241 out of 250. Hey, Joe. Um, I'm going to leave the office door open since all the kids oh, right. are in there. Oh, right. That's cool. So just whenever you leave, just. Are you out? Yeah. Happy Thanksgiving. You too. I'll see Safe you, man. Travels. Thank you. Uh, Denzer Guzman, Gold Wave, 27 out of 50. Angels. That'll be for Michael.
And Curtis Mead, 14 out of 99, Shades of Greatness. Autograph. That's for the Rays. That's going to go to Jose with Tampa Bay. We've got Rosemond Verdugo. 11 out of 75. That's for San Diego. That'll be for Bill and Jeremy Pena going to Joe and the Astros. All right. First box in the books. We'll do an autograph recap at the end of this as well. Yeah, that does kind of sound like the uh, the name of a Shades of Greatness. Does kind of sound like a, a name of a sunglass kiosk at a uh, at an outdated mall. Isn't isn't saying a person showing Shades of Greatness is. Isn't that low-key throwing some shade? It's like, Curtis Mead, you're showing some shades of greatness. Not, not outright greatness. Just, just shades of it. It's just shades of greatness. Patrick Bailey. These uh, Arizona Fall League inserts look pretty cool. I guess these are a little more common, but I, I, I like that old horror movie insert going on there. There's Helio Ramos, 250 out of 499. Refractor for the Giants. It'll be for Paul. There's uh, Max Muncy, A's Max Muncy. It's Bobby Wood Jr. and Antonio Pinheiro. I guess there's no thing over the end. Maybe just Pinheiro? That'll be for Matthew and the Brew Crew. It's Bowman first autograph. Bobby Wood Jr. going to Tim and the Royals. Maybe we'll find some low parallels of him. That'd be awesome. More autographs. It's Blaze Jordan, nice. 50 out of 199. I like that sort of design in the background there. That'll be for Boston, EA, and the Red Sox. Are we looking for, no, we're looking for some others here. Anyway, all card ship. I'll get a better idea of all the top names here. There's Eddie's Leonard. That that shimmer is not numbered, but a shimmer parallel. We've got a Wander and a Spencer Torkelson rookie cards. Oh, and a redemption hiding behind Wander Franco. That is Yarlin Susana for the Padres. That'll be for Bill and the Padres. Last spot mojo. Strikes again, Bill. And we got Purple Chrome, Simon Juan, 179 out of 250. That'll be for the Metropolitans. And I feel like Yanquil. Fernandez, yeah, I think he's one of the one of the more higher end names here.
Yeah, signed out of Cuba at 16 out of 2019. It's birthday on the new year. Look at that. 1103, by the way. Born in 03. That'll be for the Rockies. All of those will go to Ed in the Rocks. All right. Next box. Rex is wondering if Pops will use those Judge and Goldschmidt cards for auto. What what Judge and Goldschmidt cards? The answer to the question is no. It is only in store. This is in the. Deal. Oh, that's the. Uh, oh, that's program. the buyback yeah, program. Only in store. Gotcha. There you go. You hear that, Rex Evans saying. Uh, it's only an in-store thing, and no, they'll, they're only for that this particular promo. I don't think they'll use those for future autographs, or if there's even autographs for those cards. Wait, Evan? How does that work? What are, what are, what are they buying back? I saw the notice. In the team, uh, the team Slack, but I did not pay attention to the details. We got George Valera, one forty two out of two hundred and fifty. Cleveland, this is for you, Ed, with the Guardians. And there's Juan Guerrero, one, two, three out of one, five, zero. I like that parallel, nice blue, little lava action in the background. It's a nice one for Ed and the Rockies, who won that in the filler. And we got Nick Madrigal, 60 out of 99. I think Yasser Mercedes is one of those guys that we want, we want to look out for as well. For the Twins, that's going to be for Darren. And there's Ricardo Cabrera for the Red Legs. It's going to be for Donald. A Rosemont Verdugo Refractor, 230 out of 499. Bowman first for the Padres. That's going to go to Bill. And another box. See you, Jen. Have a good Thanksgiving. See you guys. Well, I'm still here, oh, well then, bye, Vanessa. <laughs> have a great trip. Wait, so Evan, um, how does so wait before you go? How does that work? So they're buying those cards back. Yes. From collectors? Yes, base cards are 20 bucks. It's here, I'll bring the sheet real fast. So so Rex is asking why they why are they buying them back? Okay. So my theory is it's, it's to help the hobby shops because they give us money back. So But we, what are they doing with the cards then? Fine. Okay. They're just so gonna we, toss we them. They're not going to toss no, them. It goes to Com C. It goes to Com C. It's not going to go to Com C. No, that's where it's going. No. Yep. Yeah. yeah. This is through Com C. We send the cards to Com C once uh, once a month. Hmm. Yeah, it's crazy. It's for four and so and, and they and they kick back some great credit for us, it, stimulate some business in, in the store. Exactly. Exactly. Hmm, Number cards under one hundred is two hundred bucks. There you go. Hi Jojo. Have a good. Time. I mean, hopefully. All right, Jesus. Hey, thank you very much, man. Have a good Thanksgiving. Appreciate you. All right. See you, Jojo. Hmm. I hope I hope they keep some. 
to, uh, I hope they keep some to, uh, maybe for some, uh, put some autographs on there. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Pop, pop those cards in archives or something exactly. like that. Oh, you know they it. might save some of those for oh, archives. For sure, for sure. See ya. All right. Hey, see ya. Happy Thanksgiving. So there you go. Little, little hobby shop, local card shop promo. Get, get people in local card shops around the country. They might. They still might. All right. Next box. Only Vasquez in here? No, no, we're looking for a Christian Vaccaro. Although Khalil Watson is, uh, he's on the box. And we got Sedan Rafa uh, Rafaela. Red Sox, that's gonna be for EA and the Red Sox. Um, that's not that weird, Rex. Who's gonna do it? Who's gonna who's gonna who's gonna move those cards? They, they they might end up getting millions of cards back. There's Curtis Mead to one fifty. Wander Franco for the Rays. Is the Sarah Mercedes? I think they want to put they want to cycle the cards back into back into the hobby. And there is a Christian Vaccaro shimmer, nice. Not number, but that's going to go to Ryan Harold and the Nats. It's one of the. Uh, I'm sure there's a lot of Chase cards here, but I think this is one of the the upper tier guys right there. And there's Roderick Arias. I think same with this guy. For the Yankees. Matt Smith on the Yankees. And there's a Max Muncy. 175 out of 299 for the A's. A's originally drafted the Dodgers edition of Max Muncy. It looks like they were like, you know what? Next Max Muncy we get, we're drafting him. Are they shady? Not with our dealings with them. They seem just fine. But it's like, you know, Top does, Tops doesn't have like a, a card clearing house, you know, department. They're not in the card selling business. So they probably partner with somebody and be like, hey, you want to do this thing for us? Because we're about to do this program. They're like, yeah. Pretty easy. Let's have some poor intern do it at Tops. <laughs> probably not. Gotcha. Mike Tower saying that last Yankee auto, Roderick Arias, is the top international prospect in all of baseball or just for the Yankees? Rated as top prospect international signing class by MLB.com. Yeah. Checks in at number two on Baseball America's bonus board. All right. Someone to look out for. I mean, are you kidding? Max Muncy A's and Max Muncy Dodgers have the same birthday? Kind of weird. Yeah, would that be weird if the Dodgers got have old Max Muncy and new Max Muncy? 
it's not like how would you differentiate them like on a jury just the number i guess but it would be like muncie and the dad have to have to have different numbers hmm. interesting different year offs yeah You think their parents were like big Max Muncy fans? And they're like, today's Max Muncy's birthday. If our kid's born today, we got to name him Max. There's Gavin Tonkle, 31 out of 50, gold speckle for the Phillies. That'll be for Darren. He's from Brentwood, California. That's, that's right here in Los Angeles. There's uh, Yeson Morabel, 297 out of 299 for the Rangers. It'll be for John Samuelson. They could use it as a lure for Judge. Hey, Aaron Judge, we have both Max Muncy's. <laughs> Aaron Judge is like, you know what? I will take that short year, high average annual value deal that you're inevitably going to offer me. Something that I would never, ever take. But since you mentioned you have both, since you mentioned you have both uh, Max, you have both you have Max Munsai, Then oh, where's the dotted line? Says Aaron Judge. There's a Luis Meza purple shimmer, one thirty eight out of two fifty Toronto. That's going to be for Brian. And there's Roiland Mashandi. Joe with the Astros. And we got a Roberto Campos, 174 out of 199 for Detroit, Stephen Carney. <laughs> Breaking news, yeah. Dodgers targeting, cornering the market on Max Muncy's. Muncy. On all Max Muncy. You think there's other Max Muncy's out there? It would work on Gelo. Got two Max Muncy's on this team? Uh, now, Gilo, would it be doubly effective if the Dodgers got relief pitcher Will Smith on their team as well as A's Max Muncy? So they would have a Will Smith. So potentially, Will Smith could pitch to Will Smith with both Max Muncy's in the infield. Dodgers Max Muncy can pretty much, the utility guy, you can think he can play pretty much everywhere, anywhere in the infield, really. And Will Smith could throw 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 to Will Smith, and the Max Muncies can uh, the Max Muncies can turn the double play. I think. Hold on. I think. Uh, let's take a look at the back of his cards. I want to say A's Max Muncy is also an infielder. Yeah, he's a shortstop. And in this in this era of baseball, that usually means he could he could probably play a few different positions. Got an O'Neill Cruz for the Pirates, Chad with the Buckos. And we've got a Bowman first autograph, uh, Estanley Castillo, 335 out of 499, Tampa Bay Rays, Jose with the Rays. Got a Christian Hernandez refractor, 146 out of 499. That's for the Cubs, that'll be for Mark.
Got a Julio Rodriguez. That's a cool photo of him. We got Yerlin Confidan. Shimmer. And we got Cameron Colley. John Samuelson and the Rangers. I don't know. Is it Max Munsai or Max Munsees? I do like Max Munsai. There's Jose Ramirez to 25. Nice. The numbering on that Castillo looks different. I think all the autos numbering looks like that. Now, there's a, it's a, more of a bolder stamp on the auto. I think the, the stamps on the back look the same, though, as previous years. Jose Ramirez, of course, going to Cleveland. That'll be for Ed. Yeah, I don't know what the Dodgers... I don't know what the Dodgers are doing at second base, Chilo. But, yeah, if you get... I guess current Max Muncy could play... Uh, Second base, A's Max Muncy to play shortstop. We just need to find an old quote from like Dave Roberts or the front office saying, we love Max Muncy a lot. We wish we had a whole team of Max Muncy's or something like that. Now, you think there are other Max Muncy? That's kind of crazy. Max Muncy A's, same birthday as Max Muncy Dodgers. It's already hard enough to become a major league ball player. What are the odds of, of, of two dudes with the same birthday and same name, both? You know, well, I guess Max Muncy A's is still in the minors, but both in one capacity or another in professional baseball. How crazy is that? I might have to change that Randy Newman songs. The odds, I guess the odds are 100%. I mean, because it happened. You're right. No, Mike, Mike's right. There's Freddie Freeman to 249. And there's Luis Chevalier, 11 out of 100. Atomic parallel for the M's. That's going to be for Tomoya. Picked up the Mariners straight up. There's Marco Luciano to 75. Yeah, Rex does like conspiracy theories. I'm sure, I'm sure he can dig something up. I'm sure. I'm sure uh, some of the more cynical people in the hobby will will claim that will claim that uh, Tops had uh, genetically engineered another Max Muncy so they can make Max Muncy cards and somehow save money. There's Juan Bin Cho, or could be the A's. Right, you're right, Gilo. These are pretty cheap. Maybe that's some old Max Muncy jerseys laying around. They're like, ah, we'll give it to this guy. Well, they'll save us a little bit on the uh, on the jersey budget. Uh, Cardinals, John Samuelson. And we got more for John. Jordan Walker to 150. How often do you think uh, how often do you think Jordan walks? You think? You think he's got a good walk rate?
Axios claiming that the odds on having the same name and the same birth date are one in 120 million. I like that reboot of Moneyball. Yeah, Jordan Peele's Moneyball would be uh, would be the A's doing some uh, doing some of their own cloning. Apparently, all of their money went to cloning operations. Just got out of hand. At first, they just wanted to first they just wanted to make an, another Max Muncy to save on the 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 jersey budget. The uniform budget. And now they they found themselves just cloning a lot of people. And as we've learned, as we learned in a uh, in pet cemetery, you're not supposed to bring things back, right? I think that was essentially a commentary against cloning. Or bringing the dead back. I mean, don't do that too. Don't reanimate the dead. Probably not a good thing. And we got a Tanner McDougal, 46 out of 75, yellow parallel. That, that kind of pops really nicely with the black and white of the White Sox. That's going to go to Fred Schultz and the White Sox. <laughs> right, they come back changed, Axios. They come back changed. There's Dustin Harris, 53 out of 299, Rangers, John Samuelson. There's Vaccaro again for the Nationals. That'll be for Ryan Harold. There's George Valera to 199 for Cleveland. That's going to be for Ed. Right? Do you think uh, Mike Towers may be thinking maybe some animatronics that the A's invested in? Colin Burns to 499. That'll be for the Orioles. That'll be for Michael F. On the board, Michael. Can guarantee that 100%. Pete Crow Armstrong, Cubs to 125. And that is for Mark. All right, almost there. Four boxes to go. I mean, I'll probably got another, what, 15, 20 minutes to go? M. Night Shyamalan movie was that, Gilo, where trees attacked people. But what's the, 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 Shyamalan, the Shyamalan twist? It would be like the trees are actually real people dressed up as trees. And it was a scary science experiment the whole time. Uh, the, the I don't think I watched The Happening. It just, just didn't happen for me, Mike. What about The Wizard of Oz? Oh, you're saying it's like a Wizard of Oz situation, Rex, where like, don't, don't look at the man behind the curtain? Is that an old joke? Sounds like a Twilight Zone episode. Yeah. 
So trees are making people commit suicide. Weird movie. You didn't miss anything. All right. Doesn't sound, doesn't sound like I did. Jake Fox to four ninety nine. Cleveland. That's going to be for Ed. And Francisco Lindor to two fifty. I wonder how many times movie studios want him to write something with like, hey, give us another one, M. Night. Give us another one where, where uh, you see dead people, there's a huge twist and people love it. Give us another one of those. And he's just like, I can really only do that so many times. I don't want to do another one of those. And then they're like, we'll give you a zillion dollars. And he says, all right, fine. I'll do another one of those. Julio Rodriguez for the Mariners. Tomoya, there's Edie Cap. 60 out of 199 for the Fish. That'll be for Matthew. There's Roderick Arias for the Yankees. That'll be for Matt. And we got a Dylan Dodd. Um, Bowman first autograph for Sean and the Braves. There was a stupid movie of once about sand that attacked people. I think that was a, that was a villain in a Spider-Man movie, was it not? A Sandman? Maybe you're thinking about that. It was Eric Hernandez to four ninety nine refractor for the White Sox? That'll be for Fred. Sense though, still really good. I think I rewatched Six Sense not too long ago. That's right, Black Mirror does have that kind of magic. But they've got different guys. They're not, they're not making M Night do this all the time. Yeah, Six Sense I thought was was really good. And even if you know the ending, you know, even with knowing the ending, I still think it's like a, a compelling watch. Stepped on his... This was an M. Night Shyamalan movie? You step in the sand, the sand would start dissolving and pull you under like like quicksand? Hmm. I don't remember that. It might be one of his earlier films, perhaps. But he did have a good run. I like Sixth Sense. Unbreakable was not too bad either. Signs, I, I think I like better than a lot of other people did. I think it, I guess The Village was was really the first one where people were like, oh, <laughs> I feel like. I think it was hotly anticipated, but. Axios watched the horror documentary called Hard Knocks Detroit Lions. Hard Knocks Cardinals, I think, is going to be pretty good. With that O-line coach being fired and sent home from Mexico City after, like, groping some ladies. There's Altuve to 150. Joe with the Astros. There's Cabrian Hayes to two ninety nine. I do watch the Raiders every week. That is pretty scary. I was a little scared last week too. How did I cut myself here? See that? I don't know where I did that. There's Andy Thomas. Oh, oh, it's not an. Oh, I was. Th I thought you were talking about. Yeah, try to pay attention, Rex. To 
taking us off topic. I thought you were talking about M. Night Shyamalan movie. You were talking about The Happening. We were talking about old M. Night stuff. There's Ellie Dela Cruz for the Reds. That'll be for Donald. The Andy Thomas will go to the Mariners. That'll be for Tomoya. Might be the trees that cut me, Gilo. The M. Night Shyamalan trees. Does this mean the end for me? Like more cuts will mysterious appear? 45 out of 99. There's Rain Doncon uh, to 99 for my Dodgers. That'll be for Mark. What would you do if like leaves started sprouting out from there? Like a tree grew out of that, that, that wound. Bobby Wood Jr. rookie card. And we got a Dylan Dodd, another one. This, this time Speckle, 102 to 299 for Sean and the Braves. And we've got a Francisco Alvarez, 22 out of 50. That is for the Mets. That's going to go to Ed. Was Lady in the Water good, or no, or was that bad? <laughs> I thought there was one that was sort of like a... Then there was the Happening. I missed that. And then... <laughs> people really liked... Uh, I know some people really liked The Last Airbender. I think that got... That's you know, a little bit of a cult classic. After Earth, no. The Visit, Split, Glass... Old? I've not heard of any of these. He must have had like a seven picture deal with Universal because these are all under Universal. He must have just been like, let's just knock these out. The Visit, something about farmhouse, grandparents. People said it was a return to form. Split. Oh, this was the uh, James McAvoy picture with the uh, split uh, personalities. James McAvoy being a master of of uh, accents. I guess that, that's pretty. That's pretty good. Oh, Glass was that the unbroken, unbreakable sort of so pseudo sequel. I guess that did okay too. Oh, and old was the uh, was the one where they went to the tropical island. This was based off a apparently a Swiss graphic novel, but where they go to a tropical island or a tropical beach or something, and they suddenly get older. Oh, glass with a sequel to split. Which is somehow connected to Unbreakable. I don't know if old did very well. Uh, no, they said it was a box office success. But a uh, box office success, but polarized reviews from critics. Let me guess. Old critics were like, hey, this is terrible. And young movie critics were like, yeah, there's nothing more terrifying than being old. That's where the split was. Or they were just like, it's just a dumb movie. Freddie Freeman Refractor to four ninety nine, And a Victor Labrada. Mariners, that's going to be for Tomoya. Reviews on old were split. Some said they had a sixth sense about this old movie. Right? Wouldn't you say that, Ryan Harold? There's Josh Donaldson to 199. Oh, 
Well, most of the split reviews were. Uh, most of the split reviews were saying, "Hey, this just isn't happening." This movie just isn't happening for me. You know. There's Averson Ar Arteaga, Shimmer. And uh, Daniel uh, Mc McElvenny. Got it. That goes to EA in Boston. That Colas was a case hit? See, this is why I need you. This is why I need you guys. There you go. Thanks, Grizzlebees. That's a case hit. Ding. Oh, there it is. White Sox. That'll be for Fred Schultz. There's Jeremy Pena, 250. Which joke? Which joke would would have got you made fun of, Rex? Come on, Mike. Hopefully nobody named Coca in the Colas family. Come on, get out of here. All right, we made it. Final box. And we've got another case coming up right after this. What's going on with future cases of Bowman Chrome? Um, pick your team seven is now in a filler. A team ran. Go and get it. The six cent. Well, because I made it, that that's what's it's what makes it funny, Rex. Because I made the joke. Now, when you make the joke, mixed. See, the thing is, Rex. It's all about it's all about delivery. It's all about timing. Context, time and place, knowing your room. You could you could write the same joke for a dozen different comedians and funny people. Some of them it'll be funny. Some of them will make it funny. Carson will deliver it in a different way than than Adam Sandler. You know. And some will make it funny, some won't. I tend to be in the category where I make it funny, Rex. Matt Chapman, 131 out of 499. And we've got Daniel Vasquez, 175 out of 299. Speckle autograph. Uh, if 8-9 filler posts and they sell out, Grizzlebees, then you'll we'll, we'll see a good chance of more cases being loaded up. Royals, Tim with the Royals. Wander Franco and Ricardo Cabrera, 63 out of 99. Where is he? Is he just swinging a bat up against the outfield wall? That's what it looks like, right? The difference between a good joke and a bad joke, timing. That's right, Gilo. It is timing. Some people have it, some people don't. There's a Torkelson for the Tigers, and it'll be for Steven. Jason Dominguez, Shimmer. 
We got Yankil Fernandez. I think he's part of our, our little list here. Rockies. And the last one here is for Tim and the Diamondbacks. That's Jorge Barosa. Bowman first autograph. It's, I, I like that unique auto he's got going on there. Tim and the Snakes. We got a Dylan Carlson to 199. And that closes things out, ladies and gentlemen. Here's a quick little recap. Got that redemption there. And that, my friends, is that. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. That's the brand new Bowman Chrome hobby. That was Pick Your Team 5. I'm Joe. I'll see you next time for the next one. Bye-bye.